I I keep coming the Lord keeps bringing me full circle on room 8 this is the flatmates from hell remember I reviewed two videos and it came from getting the quickened word I'm with stupid yeah they're going to call us stupid angels prophet it post that she linked about the eagles they're finding one another so I've, li I've, I've linked two of my videos and they're about the birds and the locusts and they're about roommates yeah, I reviewed this one I can't find the original now, there was a farmer, had a dog, and bingo was his name. You hear click say bingo, and I had already had that quickened to me a couple of years ago. Bingo, and just want to just play this little clip where they've realised where they are, infinity, roommate. One's a murderer. Two of them are in there for lust, and one of them, Milo, is in there for gluttony as well. But there's a clue, and it's that little time thing, the copper time thing, End of the Stars is brought up. The Time Machine, the movie that I watched when I was a child, has one of those in the back. Looks like an umbrella that he sits in, it's like a wagon an old fashion wagon and it travels through time so that's what happens after the clue but there's something else that happens so there's bingo so there's the game Cluedo that he holds up and when I was watching the video you'll notice I mentioned the pugs there's two pugs pugs are in my testimony because my father brought home a pug and I was terrified of dogs and when that pug had a puppies I got to keep one when I was eight I got a dog called Candy and then I meet Marty and we're trying to work out our passwords and one of the clues one of the clues to recall your password is what was your first puppy your first dog or your first pet, sorry. And both of us realise, you know, when you get to know one another, that our first dogs, when we were young children, had the same name, Candy. Woe to those who give bitter for sweet. Now, Bombay Sapphire are the ones who do this series called Room 8, Infinity. They have various drinks, but what I noticed today when I was looking through all their little short films, uh, they're, uh, they're patrons of the arts, is that gin is a big thing. Now, yesterday I dropped into Graham's house and he gave me a mixer drink of pink gin. It's about gin. Gin. J-I-N-N. And the Lord's just quickened to me. Jenny in a bottle. Angel in a bottle. That's what they're putting in you. They can infuse it, a soul, an angel, into metal. That's what they're putting into you. You're the bottle. That's why they changed the Bible from wineskins to bottles. So let's get back to the pugs and the clue. We know this is about time. There are two cushions, and I'd only identified one previously. I'd mentioned the pug. There's a cushion beside the pug. Now I will find out what year this was put out, but the cushion beside the pug, after they realise they could play Cluedo, and mention lawyers, they sit down, the girl that was murdered for the adultery by this one in this picture is on the left, she doesn't have a cushion, this one sits with 
the cushion of the pug. And then Milo sits down beside her, which is her boyfriend, who was an adultery as well. Well, they weren't married, but lust. And he sits on a cushion of a pug too. And guess what the pug has? And I just didn't get a good still frame of it, so I'm going to play it here. Pay careful attention. The pug has a hat, a black hat. It's the meme. It's the religious spirit, right? The Lord showed me three and a half, four years ago. The meme, the false church. It has the black hat. That's why you can't dance. If you don't dance, you're no friend of mine, the Jesus that I serve says. He's the Lord of the dance. And their band of that song is named Men Without Hats. So have you got a hat on? Because if you're uh, trying to friend me on Messenger and you're an angel and I see your hat, don't tell me I have rotten fruit. Because it's, it's a very clever girl who says that, who knows that the reward I bring that the Lord has given me a message to tell you about is to eat of the tree of life. How dare you call the tree of life rotten fruit? May the Lord rebuke you. Angela, Madonna, gone, gone, gone. Google that song. Gone, gone, gone. It has the number 73 on it. You can look at the flag. Last time you left was 73. Gone, gone, gone. Now that's all I need to say about that. Unless I, I need to listen to that song again from the Pied Piper. But, um... Have a look at the cushion. It wears a hat, this pug. And guess what else it has on its face? A black mask. Yes. A black mask. So let's watch. And the reason why I hadn't seen all of this is because the Lord willed it that way. And that's how it is. And that's why I say, Jesus doesn't care. Because he knows everything. He knows what you do know. He knows what you don't know. He knows if you're a phony. He knows if you're a fake. He knows everything about you. Be honest. He's looking for willingness. He's looking for willingness. Because we're crossing over. That's what Obama is saying. That's his accolade at the moment. That's the word this morning. Crossing over. We don't have time to muck around with hats and pillows. I'm talking about pillows. Why do you think pugs are such a craze? Have you ever asked? What do they signify? Well, this is a start. I got a pug puppy called Candy. Woe to those who give bitter for sweet. You look at the Sapphire, Sapphire Bombay ads on Room 8 Infinity, you will see lemons and limes. It's the Lord God's pictograph. All like yin and yang, duality and twins. You better not get caught in Room 8 and it's to the church, the false church, because you're going to be seeing a red wedding very, very soon. Because the day before yesterday, it was yesterday morning, the Lord woke me up and I put my little panic button video up just to, to show you that the Lord's taken me through it. A pantomime. Yes, it's a pantomime. He's trying to prepare your heart for it. False church. What this is, is they are coming to get you. But for his true believers, his bride, the ones who are white, that do not have dirty knickers, that dogs chew on, polytheism, 
that do not have dirty knickers. A clean bride, a holy bride. Please have a look at Eric's last upload without having heard from Cleck because he's an angel within. Well, I don't know enough about Eric. All I know is that he knows that this is coming upon the church because of sexual immorality and praise the Lord that I can watch him without having to repent because I've done it by choice. I've seen it. I've already testified about my sin to the world and you still got you guys are still hiding it. It doesn't matter if you're married. It's masturbation. Masturbation is an abortion. It's number 69. Yeah, cancer. The symbol cancer. It's all fun and games, isn't it, in the bedroom? It's all fun and games. But it's a sin. Lust. And this is roommate pointing at you. So repent. And remember, it's easy as. You just got to come clean, for goodness sake. You're in their system. You were trapped. Now you know. If you know, and you turned up, and you hear this message from Eric, and you hear this message from Cleck, we shouldn't have to tell you. You should hear the Holy Spirit. You should be turned up. And by now, you should be asking the Lord for strength to resist. Stop wanking. Stop wanking. You're a wanker. Stop being a mother fucker. The female rival left her first estate and you went with her and you've been fucking her. And that's why Jesus uses that language. And I don't care about views and I don't care about followers because he's told me they won't listen. But you are about to be herded. You are. Truthers and detectives are about to be herded. So listen to the angel of the church. I have the fruit of the tree of life. I've eaten it. It's good. <laughs> it's great. You can too. Look at the cushions, guys. <coughs> and the clothes. You know what? I'm done with you guys. I have a nice day. Bingo. Well, Watch Milo. Cluedo. See the clue? See the clue? Now look at the cushions. Yeah. 
Cushions, one more time. So the two packs. One pug has a hat and a mask on. See the clue? See the clue? 